to the Moms Aware Water Damage Awareness video series. Help for you, for those of you wondering about flood damage, water intrusion into the home, and connecting up your health with the environment. I'm Andrea Fabry along with Christina Townsend of Moms Aware. On this edition, we're going to talk about genetic susceptibility. In other words, why do some people get more sick in a home or office or school building than others? Christina? Well, there is a genetic factor. Um, it's called the HLA biomarker. Uh, for those, 24% uh, of the population are actually missing one and possibly two genes. So their body is able to detox these molds and biotoxins out of their system. Uh, they're missing them. And then there's the 76% that actually have them. So uh, they can heal pretty quickly from the mold exposure. So will the ones who are not genetically predisposed, can they live in an environment with toxic mold? They can, but eventually you, everybody can get sick from mold. Because of the burden on Because of the burden, yes, exactly. So those who are genetically, so this would explain why some people, in a family even, you, the husband may not get sick, but the wife gets sick and only a couple of the children. Correct, correct. Okay. And what about children under the age of 11? Under the age of 11, children's in, endocrine system has actually not developed yet. So whether they have the genetic uh, predisposition or not. Their systems literally just cannot um, take that type of toxic exposure. And so it will impact them in one way or another. And that's it for this edition of our Water Damage Awareness Series for Moms Aware. Thanks for watching.